Welcome to exercise 10.5, configuring routing, found in lab 10, configuring VPN and routing, which is found in the Microsoft Official Academic Course, Administering Windows Server 2012 R2, in preparation for exam 70-411. During this exercise, you can figure one of the more basic routing protocols to server 1. The mindset behind this is the only dynamic routing protocol that is available with Windows Server 2012 is Routing Information Protocol, or RIP. Although RIP requires almost no configuration after installation, it has a limit of 15 hops. Anything that is more than 15 hops is considered unreachable. The approximate time for completion of this exercise is 20 minutes. So. The question in here, we're going to end up doing a pinging, and is, that, is it going to succeed? And the answer is no, but let's take a look and see what happens. All right, so we are already on server two from the previous exercise. We're already in the network and sharing icon. We're already in the change adapter settings. We want to double click on the second internet connection. And we want to click on Properties. We want to double click IPv4. We want the default gateway. I'm sorry, default gateway to be 192.168.2.1. We're going to click on OK to close this. OK to close this. And then go ahead and close this. And then we'll close the this and this and minimize this. Okay, now we're going to go into our admin command prompt. And we're going to ping 192.168.1.60. And actually, it was successful. Type in ipconfig. Right. <coughs> All right, let's flip over to server one. Routing remote access. We're going to right click server one, left click, right click, and choose disable routing and remote access. Here we're going to click on yes. It should take a couple of minutes.
Okay, and now we'll go back and right click server one, configure enable routing and remote access. We'll click on next. Custom configuration and next. With the LAN routing, the LAN routing, and then next, and finish. And we're going to go ahead and start service. We'll expand the IPv4. And then right click general and choose new routing protocol. And we want to click RIP version 2 and then click on OK. <coughs> and now we're going to go ahead and left click, right click and select new interface. We're going to choose external. It's already selected. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And here we'll go ahead and click on OK. Right click, new interface. This time it's going to be internal and then OK. And then OK again. And now we're going to go to Jump over to server 2, go into our command prompt, and we're going to ping 192.168.1.6 and then enter, and it said it was unreachable. So question 11, no, the ping did not succeed this time. Okay, so we're going to jump right into exercise 10.6, which is resetting servers to the, uh, less, the estimated completion time for this exercise is only five minutes. Before you continue to the next exercise, you need to disable routing and remote access. If you no longer need to have remote access, VPN, or NAT available on a Windows server, you can disable routing and remote access. So I'll go ahead and minimize this. And we are currently on server 2, so let's flip over to server 1. We're in the routing and remote access. We want to right-click server 1. Left-click, right-click. And we're going to choose Disable. And then Yes. Okay, after this stops and it has, we can now close out of this. Flip over to server 2. I'm going to close out of this. Open up our network and sharing center. Go into change adapter settings. Right click the first Ethernet and choose enable. And then we'll go ahead and close out of this. Close out of this. And this is the end of this exercise, this lab, and this video.